Good morning. So I said that I would come back on and talk about being um, a granddaughter of Robert Townsend, Samuel Culper Spy Jr. Um, I figured I would start off with The Leadership Secrets of Hamilton. This book was given to me by my neighbor because um, of him knowing my bloodline. That's the one thing I would like, uh, I think, to teach everybody in this experience or this podcast is that know your bloodlines. Um, if you want to find out why your family has um, medical issues, know your bloodline. They, as you see, yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, so, okay, so it says the Founding Fathers, Adoption of the Declaration of Independence, the United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights was the most revolutionary demonstration of leadership in America political history. Collectively, these documents established the spirit, the letter, the protection of the radical form of the government that was founded not on the rights of the king, mm -mm, but the rights of the common man, us. Democracy had been attempted. Mm -hmm. Knights regiments, people, this is what's going on. It had been attempted by societies and city states at various times in the history of mankind. And it had always failed. But in North America in the late 18th century, in spite of violent resistance of the king who ruled most powerful nation on earth, hmm, demotic, government finally succeeded. Hmm. Demonic? Yeah, it literally says that in here. What was the primary reason for this success? Because they fought like hell. People like my grandfather went undercover. You got to understand, he was an Englishman. His father went to Harvard. He was a judicial. He was a judge. He was the founding father of Oyster Bay, New York. You would be hung and shun. He only hung out with Englishmen. He didn't talk to Americans. That was being an English in America. You were here. You thought you were above the American people. Uh, you had more money. You, you, you were the shizzle kind of like what it is today, the 1%. Know your bloodline. Know your bloodline. Because most of the people that they say are of not good, uh, the ones that are poor, doesn't mean that you're not good just because you don't have money. We had money. And we have no money no more. Our family blew it. We have a, it's called Rayham Hall, if you want to check into the towns and it used to be the Townsend Homestead. Then I had a cousin back in the 1700s or 1800s that decided that he wanted to change the name. Uh, and he wanted to make it a small castle. And uh, tch, sick people. Uh, depicted of Knight's Regiment. You know, Knight's Kings being of elite. Whatever. Uh, no, what makes you a good human person or human being is... Um, being kind to everyone. So uh, that's the insert for today. I'm not going to go long, but um, I'll pull some things that, like my aunt, who's a historian, that we have known about Robert Townsend, obviously, for a long time, just did not know that he was a spy because he took it to his grave. Even... Uh, our family did not uh, did not know that Robert was a spy. 
I, I'll tell you real quick how I found out. I uh, like to go flea marketing. I was in Lambertville, New Jersey. They have a little flea market down there, me and a friend. And uh, there was, I'm always drawn to revolutionary era and I had no idea why. And uh, there was a young man walking around who was in revolutionary attire. And so I started talking to him and I was like, you know, are you out of Valley Forge? And he said, no, actually I'm right down here in Delaware. We do a reenactment. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then, um, you know, I, I said, I just found out about my grandfather, um, but I don't know much about him, Robert Townsend. And he like stepped back. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. He stepped back and he said, um, if you wanna know about your grandfather, because we don't know about him because they, he took it to his grave. He said, uh, do you have Netflix? And I said, yeah. And he said, watch Turn. He said, you'll find everything you need to know about your family in there. They say he didn't get married, but we know, as in the family lineage, that he did get married. I believe that his father married him and it just wasn't put down on paper. But he was married to my grandmother and uh, they had one son and that would be Warren and that's my great grandfather. And then my grandfather was born. They only each had one son. You see how the lineages get passed down. My son is a triple trifecta uh, historian. He's, uh, and I'll just quick touch base on that. His uh, great grandfather is John Quincy Adams. And they have made my son uh, a total uh, drug addict. And we can touch base on that too, about how the government literally knows who you are your uh, social security number is your number they know who you are through that number and uh, i believe we are given uh, different things uh due to our lineage and on that note everybody have a great friday and do me a favor hit that like button <laughs> and share <laughs> and subscribe peace out <laughs>